Did you know that your hands can be used as tools as well as using tools? In today's book, The Handiest Things in the World, we're going to talk about what the hands can do. Let's take a look at the cover of the book. In the picture, the boy is using his hands as a tool to hold a butterfly. As we read this book, we're going to stop to look at the words and the pictures. Text and pictures can give us important key details that will help us to understand the book better. When we're going to talk about a key detail, I'm going to let you know by giving you the flashing key detail sign. So be looking for it. We're going to have so much fun with this book. I can't wait. In fact, we should get started right now. Here we go. The Handiest Things in the World by Andrew Clements, photographs by Raquel Jaramillo. The Handiest Things in the World. Of all the handy things there are, the hand itself is best by far. To grab, to hold, to pull or twist, the hand itself is handiest. But other things are, are handy too. Just look around, you'll see it's true. Which things are handiest for you depends on what you need to do. The things I want to show you here Things old and new from far and near. They all came from a simple plan. The hand is where they all began. Mealtime happens every day. Keep your fingers clean this way. Hey, did you see the flashing key detail sign? So there must be something important on this page. The text tells us to keep fingers clean this way. What do you see in the picture that could help you keep your fingers clean while you eat? Here's a clue. <laughs> hmm. Do you know what these are called? Yes, these are called chopsticks. Do you know that word? Some people use chopsticks instead of forks. Have you ever used chopsticks? Well, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell I, I've never used chopsticks. Never. I'm going to stick with a fork. Hey, let's keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add, subtract, then add again. Two wet hands can hold and pour. This will pour a whole lot more. I saw the flashing key detail sign, so I know I need to stop because there's something important to learn here. Look at the girl on page 10. How is the girl using her hands? Right. She's using her hands as a cup to hold water to give to the plant. On page 11, what is she using? That's right, that's awesome. Yes, it's a watering can to water plants. Hmm, which tool do you think is better? Her hands or the can? Ooh, I hear some pretty good answers. Yeah, that's what I think as well. The can. The can will hold a lot more water and it's a lot easier to use. Let's keep reading. Raindrops falling from the sky. This will help to keep you dry. Wish I might Wish I may sweep this dusty stuff away. Here's another key detail. Hey, wait a minute. I need, I need something. 
Hey, I need the flashing key detail sign, please. <laughs> it's always good to say please. Now, I could use my hands to clean up the dusty stuff, but I probably would not do a very good job. What would be better? Right, a broom and dustpan would be way better. By the way, I like the word dusty. Do you know what dusty means? Dusty means lots of lots of small little pieces. Let's keep reading. Handmade shade for squinty eyes. This will help with sunny skies. It's sight word time. I like sight word time. It's a time to see and memorize sight words. Sight words are words that you see so many times that you should memorize them. It is important to know sight words, and as you memorize sight words, you'll be able to read them in any book you read. Today's sight word is this. Can you find the word this? Let me see. Yeah, I think I, yeah. Right, it's right here. Can you spell the word this? Spell it with me. Are you ready? Go! T-H-I-S spells this. Great job! If you can read a sight word in one book, you'll be able to read it in other books as well. Keep an eye out for the word this in this book. Let's keep reading. Digging in and scooping down. Let's move lots of dirt around. Tidy is the way to be. This will help enormously. Another key detail? There are a lot of key details in this story, that's for sure. But guess what? It's okay. Because finding details helps us understand the story better. What does the girl do to make her hair tidy? Yeah, that's correct. She combs it. But how did you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I thought as well. In the photograph, I see the girl using a comb. By the way, the word tidy means to make things neat. Her hair was messy and she made it tidy by combing it. Let's keep going. Flap a hand to make a breeze. Push more air with one of these. Tap in rhythm, keep the beat. Work with these and make some heat. What's the width or length or height? This thing always gets it right. Sticky fingers mm, makes a mess. Mixers mm -hmm, make the mess much less. Waves will wash these words away. Write this way and words will stay. Hey, it's math time. I like math time. Let's look at page 31. I see a lot of words. Words are letters that are close together. Words are separated by spaces. I would like you to help me count the words on this page. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven words on this page. Did you like how I put the finger in the spaces so you could see and count the words? 
Let's keep reading. Many years have come and gone. Our hands keep working on and on. And as the future years unfold, new handy tools will grip and hold. Whatever we may need to do, one fact remains forever true. For sharing love with tenderness, the hand itself is handiest. Hands can do so many things. I really like going through that book. I would like to make a list of all the key details we found in the book, and there were a lot of them. Do you remember them all? Well, let me help you. First, we found out that chopsticks help keep our fingers clean. Next, we found out that we could use our hands as a cup. After that, we found that a broom and dustpan is way better to clean up dusty stuff than our hands alone. And then last, we found out that a comb can help tidy up our hair. That was a lot of key details. When teachers read books, they want you to remember key details and stories. Teachers love to ask questions to see if you're really listening. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for coming by the Learning Explorer channel. Check out our other videos to have more fun. By the way, saying thank you is a nice thing to say to someone, well, like your teacher, when they help you. Bye.